Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers knockoff review thanks to the team over at TF Direct. Today I'm taking a look at the KO knockoff bootleg dirty dirty plastic version of the Family Mart Lucky Draw Prize A Optimus Prime based on the Revenge of the Fallen mold. Now the original version of this goes for ridiculous money on evil bay so please be wary if you see one of these pop up now chances are it is more than likely a knockoff we've got the takara tomi logo on there we have the prize a at the side there we've still got your mech tech alive we've got the black and white image on the back all appears to be pretty much what you would come to expect from an official release uh, but, of course, this is not an official release. Now, there is no batteries included, although it says there is. Mine does not make any sound as of yet. So let's crack him open and see how good this bootleg is. And here we have him out of his packaging. And I have to admit, he looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't he? I've started to get a slight fascination with the translucent figures. Uh, it kind of started with my translucent Wajang MPP-10 and it's, it, it's just something about these that look incredible. Now bear in mind this is a bootleg and it's made of translucent plastic. I'm trying not to be super duper heavy handed like I normally am. Just taking a closer look, this guy looks insanely good when the light's behind him. I mean, it takes <laughs> light piping to a whole new level. I mean, even the actual head itself is completely translucent. They have gone to town with this guy. He's not without his faults. I have some uh, sprue marks there on the tires. It seems to be on pretty much every tire as well as a small mark. But I mean I know there's gonna be a few crystal fans out there, especially they're gonna love this. I mean it doesn't feel uber fragile. It doesn't feel as good as what we've kind of used to with the knockoff movie figures. I it does feel a little bit more brittle, but then again, I put that down to the fact that it's made of this translucent plastic. I mean, everything. You can even see the inner workings of the panels. There's no pinstriping on any of the flames, but I'll let that slide because it's translucent. Uh, this one is a little bit wibbly wobbly. So a nice little Autobot logo there. It's you can clearly see the uh, EL and the ER on there, so uh, that's your left and right. Let's just take a look around. You can see the battery panel sections there. This doesn't have any batteries in it at present uh, due to the shipping laws. And around here, all of this. Oh, he looks so, so nice. Articulation is the same, up and down, left and right on a swivel, no pivoting. The shoulders are on a ratchet, up and down. We can go forwards and backwards again on a very nice ratchet. The elbows are on a ratchet joint as well and they do also have a rotation. We do have this really annoying flick out blade as well though. I know it's all part and parcel of Prime but I, I don't like the flick out blades. I think it really does restrict on how nice the Prime looks. Uh, the hands, there isn't a joint in the hands but you can see the actual sculpt really nicely. I think you can actually see the sculpt better when it's done in this kind of crystal colour. And You've got some Cybertronian writing there. The waist still does not rotate due to the transformation. The legs come out to the front, out to the back, lift the tires up to bring it out to the side. Oh, it sounds so good. 
nice bend at the knee there and uh, ball jointed feet so we get some range forwards and backwards and we get some pivoting as well here he is alongside some of his alternative incarnations he definitely has some amazing shelf presence doesn't he and for those of you out there that were curious yes he does still work with the fans wanted for i've called this crystal wing prime yeah there we go there's me and my super original names <laughs> And if by any chance you've never seen the Revenge of the Fallen mold, but you own an MP10, here they are for a scale comparison. Right, now with the magical addition of two times AA batteries, we should have sound, so. Yes, yes you are. So there we go, that is his sound card. I am Optimus Prime. I'm just curious, let's just check out how much he weighs. Now bearing in mind he does have the AA batteries in him, he's coming up at 597 grams. That's 1.3 pounds. And in comparison, considering I only have the one set of batteries, uh, the standard Prime is coming up at 531 grams. That's 1.17 pounds. Perfectly honest with you, I expected him to be a lot lighter than the standard primes not the same weight uh, i mean the batteries make him slightly heavier but that really honestly does surprise me that suggests to me that the plastic is the same sort of density as what we get with the standard now i am not going to transform him on camera because this is one of my most frustrating figures uh, to date that I, I just don't get on with this mold at all when it comes to transformations but I will include a link at the end of the video on a little thumbnail up here at the end to a playlist where I review all of this Revenge of the Fallen mold and lots of those have the transformation sequence included and here we have him all transformed up uh, I've got to admit actually the transformation seemed easier on this one basically because you can see where everything's going I guess things just some of the bits just don't quite tab in properly still i don't want to apply uh, too much force to them just in case i mean it is after all translucent plastic but i mean that's that's pretty nice isn't it that looks gorgeous uh, hasbro do you remember when you used to paint gold here and gold on the bonnet Tisk tisk. <laughs> Poor old MPM4 with his missing paint applications. Got these steps going along here, got these nice translucent uh, fuel tanks here and the exhaust systems coming around to the back. Unfortunately, you can see the batteries uh, quite clearly. We do still have the same trailer hitch mechanism. So if you have the UFO trailer, for example, uh, then you can just hitch that into there or if you have the translucent mp10 i'm not sure if you can get an adapter maybe or at least prop it up on there and it should look really quite good the wheels all roll quite nicely i, I genuinely like it i didn't i wasn't sure how much i'd like it i got it just because it's translucent um but yeah i i, I, I think it looks cracking i may keep this one in his vehicle mode i just think that's a very very attractive vehicle mode pretty sure everybody is aware of the scale that these have gone for uh, so there we go there's uh sideswipe and hornet and bumblebee they all look really nice with prime it's one of those molds which has lasted uh, for the fact that we're still getting bootlegs i mean this was revenge of the fallen this was about eight years ago this mold was made and it's still going it's still going strong that definitely says something about a figure doesn't it like or hate michael bay him and his partnership with hasbro takara definitely knew what they were doing when it came to this didn't they <laughs> 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've found it useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. I've included a link in the description below, which will take you through to the TF Direct webpage. And of course, don't forget that I've included the playlist up here, which takes you through all of my previous reviews of this Revenge of the Fallen mold. Until next time from myself and Crystal Miss Prime, ah, good. Bye.